Oh jeez, oh gosh, she's gonna talk about Overwatch. Before you put your earplugs in and change the video, you all saw this coming. I have a TF2 channel, and it's pretty standard at this point in time to talk about Overwatch if you have a channel. It was in the contract I signed when I joined YouTube. I promised I would talk about Overwatch. You're gonna have to bear with me. I've done my best for a while to only really do TF2 videos, because it's what I like doing. But at this point, I'm interested in Overwatch. It's gonna be out on, like, what, the 27th? So it deserves a little bit of attention. So real talk, I'm not the most qualified guy to talk about this. All of my videos until this point have only been TF2, and you gotta admit that's dedication, but that's not my point. I'm kind of a one-woman kind of guy, so it's kind of curious when a new game around the block comes up. Lucio looks banging as hell. I main heavy, so I'll probably try out Zarya or even Roadhog. They look really fun to do. There's something I'm gonna try out, even if everyone else thinks they look really boring. But the point I'm getting at here, Overwatch looks really cool, and it could be considered competition for TF2. It's super team oriented, if you don't have someone there to back you up, you're probably gonna get boned. In TF2, you can kinda just sit and spawn spamming voice commands. You can't do that in this game. Maybe you can, I don't know, I haven't played it yet. But is it really something that could kill TF2? Nope! A lot of games have tried to kill TF2, but none of them have ever successfully done it. I think at this point it's safe to say the only thing that could kill TF2 is probably itself. That might sound confusing, but think about it like this. You remember Source 2, that whole thing that was going around? We could theoretically port TF2 to Source 2, but we'd much rather just keep injecting community hats and updates into the game because that's way easier to do, am I right? I mean, you can see shadows through walls. You got players holding three weapons at once nowadays. The Cuban Bristle Crisis doesn't even move with a heavy face. And the biggest problem of all of them, the Pyro still exists. Can't believe they haven't fixed that one yet. Now don't misconstrue me or nothing, I still love TF2. It's my baby girl. That sounds really weird, don't quote me on that. But there's so much I haven't done in this game. I haven't played in high level competitive. I've never Ubered an enemy spy. I actually have done that last thing. The point I'm getting at here is that there's so much in this game I haven't done yet. I haven't marked my legacy on this game. Not that I ever had a legacy to begin with, but matchmaking is going to come out. That's going to draw on new players. I've met all my friends from TF2 up until this point. And do you have any idea how fun spawn camping is? Okay, I'm sorry, you bunch of babies. Truth be told, I'm probably not going to get into the Overwatch beta. There's no tangible reason for me to get in over anyone else. I'm not a huge YouTuber. I don't have over 300,000 subscribers. And I'm certainly not a streamer that's going to be hitting constant 500 viewers. So I've got a ways to go. My chances of getting in are about as slim as anyone else's. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm not going to be making constant videos on it when it comes out. I mean, every big YouTuber is going to be making videos on it. Every TF2 YouTuber is going to be making videos on it. My half-deaf Nana made a YouTube channel just so she could make videos on it. It's going to get coverage. All I care about personally is if it's going to be a fun game or not. That's not to say the only thing interesting me in the game is if it has great gameplay. I mean, it looks beautiful. That's a real environment. You just want to reach into that screen and touch it. You want to be there. And have you seen the shadows? Those are real shadows. They ain't charcoal covered poop stains. I'm getting a little excited here. Let's get back to the point of what I'm trying to say here. Is this going to kill TF2? Realistically, this game's not going to kill TF2. It's just going to be another game out on the market. But I'll tell you one thing. It would be great if it pushed Valve to do a little more work in the game other than just handing off all their updates to the community. They made like three of the last nine updates to come out. I'm not going anywhere though. I love TF2. I've been on it for 7,000 hours now, although I've only played in game for about 1,000 hours, but if you check my Steam, it says 7,000 hours. Thank you very much. But does that mean I'm tired of and I'm going to quit it for Overwatch? Absolutely not. I love Rocket League, but you don't see me quitting TF2 for it. I mean, if I'm going to quit TF2 for any game that has Watch in its name, can we give a round of applause for uh, Firewatch? It looks super amazing. Maybe that's just because I love the outdoor aesthetic, but I guess I'd be getting off topic, so I'll save that for another video. My point is, God, I love Firewatch. God, I love TF2. Let's talk about those games for a second. Oh, and I guess Overwatch too. Kinda wish Valve would give a little more attention to TF2, but hey, they give tons to CSGO and Dota 2, but that's not really my problem. TF2 is the only thing that's gonna be competing with Overwatch, cause it's, you know, silly competitive, and it's almost like a decade old. Jesus Christ, it's been so long. But hey, if Valve is as smart as I think they potentially can be, they're gonna keep TF2 alone, around, around as long as possible, even if only one guy plays it. That's gonna be me, by the way. That's pretty much everything I wanted to cover, just about pre-impressions with Overwatch. I think it's gonna be a great game. On the off chance I go, I don't get into the beta, you know, whatever. I'll go talk about other games. I'm really looking forward to, like I said, Firewatch. And I love playing something like Nuclear Throne. So, hey, I guess I'll probably start talking about other games sometimes. <laughs>
Well, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, and some people don't really like my videos because I sound like I'm 13. Big apologies to that. I'm going through puberty. I'm about to end it. But I'm going to start manually editing my voice. <laughs> that way, you don't have to worry about me sounding like I'm 13. Hope you had a great day. See you around town. Probably not. Have a good one. Goodbye.